Okay, it's 6.30 in the morning. Great, I'm early. Having 12 chefs under my control, I've always got to lead by example. There's a big contrast between the morning shift and the night shift in kitchens. I control the kitchen, the making of the food, I order the food, assist in the production of food, and serve food for anything up to a thousand customers a day. I love and dislike everything about my job. Sometimes it's great talking to people on the phone, other times I can't stand it. Some days the kitchen runs like clockwork, other days it's a nightmare. Aaron, has that salmon come in yet? No chef, it hasn't. Can we give him another call? There's fantastic travel opportunities, but you must be prepared to work hard, odd hours, and this is usually when all your mates are out partying. Monday morning, the weekly stock take. That's the best way to control your kitchen. It seems like I'm always ordering food. Got to call them through now. Got to set us up for the week. Hey Anna, you're looking pretty tired. What'd you get up to after work last night? Oh, I went to Metro Chef. I enjoy awesome. paying the staff. They work very hard for I their money. I always make time. sure I have time to talk to employees. A person who feels wanted is a happy person. There's always some problem that needs to be sorted out. Look, I'm sorry it's late notice, but this function's just come on for tomorrow. Normally I'd give you at least three days notice, I know, but I need some cannelloni shells for tomorrow. Is it at all possible? It's great to have a couple of hours off after the lunch service. The hours are irregular, but that's the part of the job I enjoy. Boats, water sports, I love it all. 20 years ago I had aspirations of being a pro surfer, that's how I got into this job. Surf the days away, work the nights. This job was a lifestyle choice for me. I'm proud of my menu, 40% by my design, 60% by my staff. I'm proud of their efforts and it's important that they get to share in the creativity. 10 to 12, it's almost lunch service. Natalie, make sure you get those ducks on nice and early, we're really busy for lunch. They're already on, Jeff. Christian. Yes, sir. Have you got that birthday cake order for that pavlova? Yes, sir. Doing it right away. Thank you. Sometimes the staff get too busy to see the hazards that are right in front of them. Better order some more fruit and veggies. Yeah, hi Nick, it's Richard here. Look, I'm sorry to call you at such short notice. I've just had this function come on tomorrow. I'm going to need to get a couple of things out. Is that okay? Cheers, man. I really appreciate it. Can I get a, a bunch of leeks, 10 kilos of butternut pumpkin, and I'm going to need an extra carton of iced broccoli. Okay? Thanks, mate. You're a lifesaver. Cheers. Yep, I've chosen the right stuff. It's a critical part of my job. It's important they had experience and knew what to expect. I'll tell you now, they earn every cent working for me. I don't need to do this, but a couple of hours of peeling potatoes helps me think. It's a good time to mentally organize my life. Showtime, these people have come to enjoy our food. It's exhilarating and terrifying. Chef, this was I not walking. I've already had enough time to think today with the spuds. This, I don't need. Okay, come on, let's go, go, go. We set to strict time limits and we stick to them. It's important we run to the clock. Oh, great, look at this, excellent ingredients. Wow, this place is buzzing. What an atmosphere. It's great to see all these people enjoying themselves. Well, survived another day. Oh, we had a busy night. We got wiped out. I've got to let Angelo know what he's got to do in the morning. Being a chef is a very rewarding career, but you must be prepared to work hard, odd hours, and under extreme pressure. To be in our industry that is not highly paid, you must really love to do it. And being a chef is not always a long-term career, but it can always lead into different areas in our industry. There are not too many chefs cooking over 40 years old. I pride myself on being consistent. I think it's the most important thing a chef can be. If you're consistent, you'll always be employed and that's anywhere in the world.